Roman numeral analysis. It is one of the most important skills in AP music theory. It's where we use Roman numerals and symbols to indicate what chords the composer has used. It should be mentioned that this type of analysis works best in the common practice period. That's the period from the Baroque through the Romantic. It works best with composers like Bach or Beethoven. You can even use it with pop music, but it won't make as much sense. Let's get started. Here's a C major scale. Now we can assign numbers to each of the notes. Actually, let me try this here. So let's say this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then actually one again. And these numbers are called scale degrees, and they correspond to each note in the scale. Now if you were to stack notes on each scale degree to make triads, like shown here, you wouldn't use scale degree numbers, you would use Roman numerals. This is how it would sound. And here are the Roman numerals that you would use. A capital number one, lowercase number two, lowercase number three, capital four, capital five, lowercase six, lowercase seven with a superscript zero, it should actually look like this. And then a capital one again. The reason why some are capital and some are lowercase because that indicates quality or in other words whether they're major, minor, augmented, or diminished. So may, uh, capital means major, lowercase means minor quality, and this with the zero in the superscript uh, means diminished. A plus symbol would be used for augmented. Now, in order to do Roman numeral analysis quickly, you definitely have to memorize this pattern with the major scale. So, for example, the chord that is on the fourth scale degree in a major key is always going to be major. So you memorize, you know, major 1, minor 2, minor 3, major 4, major 5, minor 6, and diminished 7. Let's do a couple of exercises. These can be found on musictheory.net if you want to do some more on your own. Okay, the first thing we need to do is identify the key. This should come automatically because you've memorized them, but this is B-flat major. Now, this triad is built on the second note of B-flat major on a C, so that you know that the second scale degree in a major key is um, the chord built on that is what kind of triad? A minor triad. So that's the answer to this problem. And this one looks a little more complicated for us right now, but we'll get back to it. Here's a better one. Okay, we're in the same key, B flat major. And on first look, it might be hard to figure out what the quality of this chord is, but you get the starting note, which is A. And A is the seventh note of B flat major, so you automatically know that a triad built on the seventh scale degree is diminished. So this has to be diminished. On that last example, you would use a lowercase Roman numeral 7 with a diminished sign, a little circle in the superscript. Okay, last question problem. Take a look at this, and we're going to not only say what quality it is, but what Roman numeral you would use. So what key are we in? F major, one flat. Starting note is F. So that's pretty easy. You'd use a capital Roman numeral 1, and the quality is major. We'll use this example to show you that things can get a little tricky if you put the notes out of order. So this will be for the next lesson, but I just wanted to introduce it to you. So you have this triad here, but it's not stacked in thirds. So the bottom note, the bass note, is an E, then a G, and then it goes to C up on top. 
Now, if you were to rearrange them so you stack them only in thirds, you would have C, E, G. And you can see over here that there's no key signature. We're in the key of C major. So this is a C triad, which would be indicated by Roman numeral capital one. But um, it's in an inversion. And so we'll talk about these inversions. And in a Roman numeral analysis, you also have to put in the inversions. For example, here, you can see these numbers, 6 and 6, 5. These indicate inversions. So we will talk in lesson two of this section about the inversion numbers, but for our in-class assignment or in-class work that we're going to do, we're just going to be doing what they call root position triads, where the base note is the root of the chord. To get ready for our in-class work, make sure you brush up on your key signatures and have them really memorized. See you in class.